Hi everybody, welcome to this first edition of Join the Club. I decided to start this series to kind of give everybody an inside look into many of the kit clubs that are out there today. I know that's become a real popular thing, a big uh, service, I think, to those scrappers all over the country, all over the world, if, as a matter of fact, that can't access supplies or don't have a chance to get to their store, their local store, or just have uh, a concern about being able to put things together themselves, different pattern papers mixed with another company's embellishments that they might not necessarily put together themselves. Plus, it's like your birthday every time one shows up on your doorstep. <laughs> So I thought that this would be a fun chance to see some of the different clubs that are out there. The one that we're going to take a look at today is um, called Kara Miller's Are You Bored Kit Club, which I think is a fun spin because this club concentrates all on board books. You get fun little 5x5 five five size books in your kit with all the supplies needed to complete a fun different themed book every month. So let's go ahead and take a look. I just want to kind of give you a quick shot here to see all that this kit comes with. We've got the 5x5 five five book, which is kind of hard to see because it's covered by um, this sheet of paper, um, but it's a 5x5 five five board book, all the sheets of paper that you'll need to make your pages, tags, brads, ribbon, embellishments, pre-printed um, transparency quotes, um, a full sheet of instructions, and this happens to be my absolute favorite part, which I think will just really set this club apart. This right here, this little disc, is a PowerPoint presentation of how to assemble the book. I think that um, this kit is unique in the sense that it comes with everything pre-done for you as far as instructions on how to put it together step by step, but it also allows you, to, if you don't want to follow those instructions, to create your own pages and use your own creativity to complete whatever um, the project that you had in mind would be. If you're not comfortable with using the computer, it also comes with essentially the PowerPoint presentation printed out on sheets of paper with full instructions, step-by-step -step instructions, color pictures, and just great tips from Kara. To cover the board book, um, Kara gives several options. You can either take a glue stick and just heavily glue the book and then adhere the paper. Or she suggests um, the best way to cover it is with Mod Podge. Now, if you've never used Mod Podge before, I thought we'd go ahead and cover it that way just so that you can see what it looks like, how you do it, and how easy it is so that you can use it on other projects. It's a great um, water-based sealer, a glue. You can use it to finish you know, projects that you know are going to be handled a lot. So um, she... Carico has, when she packages the kits, she goes ahead and wraps the cover already around the cover of your book, which I think is nice because then you don't have to worry about getting the, it lined up perfectly. So I'm going to go ahead and remove the paper off of the cover. And I like to work with a paintbrush. You can go ahead and work with foam brushes like this if you want, but I just feel more comfortable with the paintbrush. I feel like it gives me more control. So that's what I'll be working with. And then this is what the Mod Podge, look, Mod Podge looks like. You can pick it up at any local craft store. I think it's about $3 for this tub, and it'll last you for a very long time. It smells a lot like Elmer's glue. So just go ahead and dip your brush in, and you want to do a thin coat. And I would start with the spine. Just do a very thin coat all over and then go ahead and since the paper's already creased, stick it right on your spine there and this is very forgiving. You can, you know, push it around a little bit until you get it just where you want it. Now, I would Bend the book, fold the book closed, and push on it and work out any of the lines or bubbles or anything that might be there. That's the one tricky thing about working with this, is you want to make sure it stays really even so that you don't get big blobs underneath that you'll eventually be able to see through. Now, you can go ahead and just paint some more on your cover. And once it's all covered, 
again, just press it down and give it a good, smooth it out really evenly like that and see mine slipping up a little bit. So I'm just going to push down on it. Now I want to do this little inside flap here to make sure that the cover stays on nicely. And again, just push down on that and repeat the same thing with your back cover. Now, once you've got your cover covered with the Mod Podge, you want to stick it under something heavy. I'm just going to take my favorite cookbook and plop it down on there so that it can um, help it dry without any air bubbles. Okay, so once your cover's dry, you can go ahead and start to um, embellish the front. This is such a cute book. This is the premier um, kit for her for Kara's Club, and I just think it's darling. It's um, got a winter theme, and she's got this fun snow globe that goes on the front, and you can slip a picture in there, and totally cute. So everything, again, comes pre-cut. We've got this fun little circle that's already cut out for us. She gave, she sent brads in the kit. I've already gone ahead and just stuck those through the paper. Um, I'm going to take one of these little snowflakes here, these fun silver snowflakes that are included in the kit, and pop it down in the upper corner to give it a little more dimension. Now, another thing I love is that she's given me options here. She gave me this pre-printed snowflake transparency or just a clear transparency. It's probably kind of hard to see that. But that way, whatever picture you have that's going to go um, on the front of your book, if you don't think it would look that great behind the snowflake, then you can use the clear. I'm going to use the snowflake just because I think it looks fun by itself. And if I don't even want to use a picture that way, I can just have that and it looks fun. So I'm going to take my adhesive and just run it along here. Another fun thing is um, there are some great designers on this team. You've got girls that work for Junkets and lots of other fun big name companies that are designing for Kara's Kit Club. So I think that you'll see some really fun designs coming out of there from all these talented people. There's just so much talent. It's so fun to see what everybody's able to create using the same supplies. <laughs> I love that. Okay, so there we've got our fun little top for our snow globe. Now we want to do the base of it. There's this circle included. All we're going to do, and again, there are instructions and pictures, step-by-step -step pictures for how to do all of this included with the kit. We're just going to cut it not quite in half because you want to be able to overlap these. And there you can see, oops, I've got them the wrong way here, that you've got a cute little base. Now I'm going to, she's got on the picture a little notch cut out. I'm going to cut around this just a little bit on the edges too so that there's a little bit of separation there. And then um, I'm going to just cut a little notch out of the top so that it looks like the globe is resting on its base. Let's see if I got that lined up okay over there. Sorry about that. Okay, now I'm just going to stick those together. And then when you stick that on your book, you'll see that it's got a cute little snow globe resting on its base. How fun is that? <laughs> now I'm going to go ahead and 
adhere this to the cover. Now another thing to keep in mind is if you want to insert a photo in here and be able to change it later, don't put adhesive across the top because that's where you're going to want to slip your picture in and out. So go ahead and just put adhesive on the three sides. And set that down. I'm going to center it a little bit better here. Put your globe base together. Pop that down on there. And then you've got, oops, mine didn't stick too well, but you've got your pocket there so you can pop your picture in and out. With the template, you'll just go ahead and cut all of your pages, which will take no time at all because it's just 10 five by five um, sheets. And then you can, once again, use the um, instructions that come with the kit as far as how to lay out your pages, or you can do whatever you feel like and make your create your own pages. But it's a really fun, simple project that you can complete in about an hour and then you have a fun book and they're great for gifts or just to, I love to decorate my shelves around the house with them because when people come over, they love to just have something to sit on the couch and look at for a few minutes and kind of see what, what our family's been up to. So I highly suggest that you check out the Are You Bored Kit Club. It's, it can be found at www.caramiller.com and check out what they have to offer. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.